My name is Tim Bennett. I'm a filmmaker. The film you're about to see all started because of a tape I found stuck in an old video camera. My dad picked it up at a yard sale. He picks up old gear for me so that I can uh, repair it, sell it online for a few extra bucks. This one was in pretty good shape except it had a tape stuck in it. And this is the tape. This tape changed my life and Kathleen's life. Even with all the whole movie stuff, was this clip? The shot only lasted a few seconds, but the more I watched it, the more I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Could it really be him? This is Kathleen. We make documentaries together. At least, we try to. Okay, hey, hey, stop. 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 Tape's cheap. In fact, after graduation, I began working on this idea I had for a reality TV show shot entirely with hidden cameras. To test them out, I put them everywhere. Three in our van, four in our apartment. In retrospect, I may have gotten a little carried away. This is fantastic. Come on, this is narcissistic. I mean, you, you have like, what, one, two, three, four cameras set up in I'm here. I'm just putting you, my money where I'm at. You got a camera set up here to shoot you while you're editing images of yourself. This is helping those with crap. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, I love it. Yeah. One day, while taking a break from working on Kathleen's film, I checked out this tape that I found in one of the old video cameras my dad gave me. Do I have a balloon shock here? It's Kathleen, come here. Huh? Is everything okay? Check it out. I can't believe this. That's him. What are you, what are you talking about? What is this footage? Oh, come on. Look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't freak you out. That, that's an old John Lennon. Right there. Oh, my God, Tim. We need to get my film ready to be screened. It's, it's barely past its assembly, and, and you're looking at footage of an old John Lennon? You gotta be on your mind. You gotta, <laughs> gotta admit that's right? pretty freaky. Uh, I don't even know what to say to you right now. Just, um, please get this off the screen, get my stuff back up, and get working. All right. Thank you. I started researching Lennon's life and death, and I realized that the circumstances surrounding his murder just didn't make sense to me. The search on Lennon's assassination produced an incredible number of conflicting opinions and conspiracy theories. The consensus among a lot of them was that Chapman was just the fall guy and not the actual shooter. This one site even had animation of the shooting based on the evidence found at the scene. The position and entry direction of Lennon's wounds and the bullets found in the recessed main doorway entrance were indisputable evidence of being shot from behind. It was impossible for Chapman to have murdered Lennon from where he was firing. Why was this evidence never considered? Lennon was shot and cremated within 48 hours. Since then, all access to the information regarding the assassination has been restricted or sealed. 
Was this a huge cover-up? He certainly had the means. Could I have discovered living proof that Lennon survived and that this event had caused him to orchestrate his own disappearance? Where are you going with this? Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a thousand to one odds, a million to one odds, if John Lennon was still alive, that we could go up there and, uh, and, and find him and shoot it using all of these cameras. Convincing Kathleen to come with me, especially when I was in the middle of finishing her film, was not easy. And I'm sorry, but a film about the two of us wandering around in the middle of nowhere is not interesting Look, to anybody. all I'm asking for is a weekend with you. But for nothing. It's not for nothing. You don't know that. If, if John Lennon was alive, it would be the most jaw-dropping, mother, mind-bending fucking thing that you can possibly imagine. But he's not. I'm sorry. He's not. Listen, Kathleen, Lennon loved Canada. He even considered buying some property up here at one time. His first solo performance with uh, the Plastic Ono Band happened in Toronto. Give Peace a Chance was recorded in Montreal. He was a huge fan of Trudeau. So two days. We can accomplish everything you want to accomplish with this. We can yeah. get it done. The footage on the tape gave me no clues whatsoever to where it was shot. The only thing I had to go on was the old camera, which my dad gave me. Do you remember where I picked up that old video camera? You know, it was at a yard sale. I picked it up for my son, Tim. Typically, right. neither my dad nor his fishing buddy, Harold, could remember exactly where the yard sale took place. But between them, they narrowed down their whereabouts to the town of Beasley off Highway 909, or one of the villages close by, about 500 kilometers north of Toronto. I didn't think it would be that difficult to find the place. Before we left, I went to see my cousin Tony for some additional gear. Who knows what I was going to be getting into. He had a business selling customized surveillance equipment. My plan was to document the whole story so that no one could question or doubt what I had found. I would have to have absolute proof. I'll give you some of these. Now this camera here will be triggered by sound. It'll go to sleep if nothing happens. So the battery in this will last a long time because of that. And it'll transmit to this switcher here. All the video that gets switched goes into this camera. And the battery's being charged on the sunny days. It's being charged by a solar panel. Yeah, and then uh, you, all you have to do is change the tape. You got this just for you, the hat cam. The hat cam, nice. Say hi to mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. All right. Does Kathleen uh, know you're doing this? Kathleen's coming with me. Wow. All right, then. Because the people who tried to kill him are still alive. But isn't he in jail, that guy? The theory is that he didn't actually shoot him. It was somebody else from a different angle. Kathleen thought this whole thing was crazy, but we made a deal. We would go looking for the old guy, and along the way, I would show a picture of him I'd made from the clip. If we found him, I would have a couple of days to determine if he actually was John Lennon. If we didn't, I would give up this whole ridiculous idea.
convenience store back there. You want to try in there? Uh, if they... They didn't see... If they didn't know in the last 20 places we tried, they were not going to know them in there. I'm just saying, it's worth a shot. We can go in there. We'd have to knock on every door in a 50-mile radius, even to have a shot at finding them. Okay, but we can't do that, but I, I'm just I know saying, we can't do that. We can go and try this place. Okay. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry, Ed. Can I get carried away when I'm chopping up lettuce? Oh, CBC? Listen, we're, uh, we're looking for this man. Have you ever seen him? Does he live in the area? Don't know. Can't say that I recognize him. Mind you, I don't think I'd recognize my own mother from that photograph. It's, it's really important. You don't recognize him at all? You wouldn't happen to know anybody who lives around here with a Liverpool accent. Oh, there's a Greek family that lives out in Concession 3, if that's any help. No. No, Are you thank sure? you. Do you mind if I use your washroom? No, carry on, it's just through there. Thank you. Look, well, why don't you stick it up on the bulletin board? No. Are thank you me. sure? Hey, Tim. Hang on. Listen, why don't you just stick it up on the board? Right, and what's going to happen if he is around here? He's, gonna, he's just going to drive him even deeper underground. I'm sorry, babe. No, really. I know how much it meant to you. See you in the van. So we come all the way down here through Tennessee and into Memphis. Oh my God, if you've never been to Memphis, you've got to go to Memphis. The King's House. Oh, Graceland. I was in absolute seventh heaven. It was, I thought it was if Elvis Hello, was Nancy right there. there. Are you all right to be back again? Love? I am over here, Stanley. Is there anything for us today? No, nothing. All right, I'll see you later. I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay. Where'd you go? Excuse me. What the hell? Excuse me, ma'am. Madam? Hi there. Um, do you know the guy who just left here? Do you know, do you know who he is? Stanley? I am at in Concession 4. I thought you said you didn't know anybody with a Liverpool accent. No, I don't know. Um, no, that can't be Stanley. He's from South Africa. Can you look at this again? Do you need, you need glasses? Aye, but it helps. You know, it could be no. No, who's no? He was with Stanley out in Concession 4. I told you that. You have they ever seen no? I don't think he's been out the house in about three years. Uh, yeah, okay. Go out here and turn to the left. Yeah. You'll come to the reservoir, okay? And that's right here. And you'll come to a, is that north? Okay, so I'm no good with that kind of thing. Oh, that's wrong. Forget about that. The road kind of buckles back round on itself, okay? okay. So you come to the, the duck pond and you'll, I mean, you can't even miss that. You'll see all the ducks floating around in it. And there's three trees in a row. Can he miss it? So how's the plan? Joe, I don't know, Joe. You can see it from the road. And it's a way round here is somewhere. There, is there a number on the street? Is there? Oh Christ, this is a country, hun. <laughs> you don't get numbers on streets in the country. You're lucky you get a road. According to Dot, the man that looked like Lennon was called Noel Snow. The man he lived with was Stanley Fields. They owned a small farm in the area. He didn't think we were going to find him, but we did. Stop hey, pouting. I'm not pouting. <laughs> I'm being a very good sport. <laughs> and we haven't exactly found him. Hey, and there is the duck pond. Right there. There? There it is. Yeah, this is where we take a left. Yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 very left. Correct, I should say. Er, uh, yes. We thought we had found Noel's Downey's place, but we were wrong. 
So, Pierre, if you wouldn't mind starting out with just giving us your name and uh, letting us know how long you've lived up here, that would be great. Okay. Yeah, the bars have been here for a little better than 50 years and uh, starting to change a bit now. Got some new neighbors moved in across there a few years ago. Uh, these are guys from, from out of town? Or? Uh, Mr. O'Shea, uh, he used to own a place. He died some 30 years or so ago, and the place is instead there and word up most of the time for a few more years, and then these two fellows moved in. You better get in. I think it's going to rain. Really? Okay, Daddy. A friend of mine made these saddlebags for me, oh, about 30 years ago, and another friend of mine, Trick Roper, uh, he went and uh, made up a rifle scabbard just to match it. Oh, yeah, well, cowboys don't call 911. I pretty well qualify as a cowboy. I took off the Wild West show when I was 15 years old. Or if you want really quick to see if you're in a hurry, like this. The further away, the more you raise your gun. But if you're shooting fairly close like this, just fire real close. And you make sure you catch your hammer because this gun will not fire. You can pull that trigger all day, it won't fire. Single action revolver, have to pull back the hammer. So immediately when you take a hold of your gun, close the trigger. And that's the way you, you do it. The short one with the beard, he, he moved in first. That's a um, uh, What's his name? Stanley? Stan, yeah, that's it, yeah, Stan. He's a nice kind of a guy. Uh, I drove off the road in the ditch here, and he told me out a couple of years ago, I skidded right off. And uh, the other guy, I uh, don't see much of him. He pretty well keeps himself. You ever speak to him at all? Or? Well, just nod, and that's about it. But, uh, he can speak, though. I heard him and his girlfriend having a fight down by the lake one day, and let me tell you, that boy was cussing on the storm. So he has a girlfriend. She, um, who is she, local girl? No, Babs. Babs Baker, a nurse, and uh, a little bit of all right. But if you ever do want to know, ask the guys, his buddies are playing his band. So he has a band? You should, you should even call it that, yeah, you know. You get together a couple of times a week. I'll tell you one thing, they're too damn noisy. Does That'll it sound like the Beatles? Damned if I know, I'll tell you one thing, ain't no fiddle music, you know. And these guys, they ain't exactly Johnny Cash or Willie Nelson, let me tell you that. If you want some good music, come back in June. That's when they had the fiddling contest. Yeah, that's good music. Doc? Hello? Oh, are you back again? Yes, we're back again. Oh, my God, are you what? <laughs> uh, we saw some beautiful countryside. I bet you did. Did you see the duck pond? We did. Oh, I did. <laughs> so lovely. Yeah, it's really a beautiful place. Beautiful, oh, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah. Um, so, do you have time for a couple questions? Well, we're really, really busy, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Primarily, we're interested in uh, the arts and cultures side Just of things. Just the, the different cultural traditions sort of mixing up with each other, uh, art and music. Um, right. Oh, good. Why don't they the biggest festivals that we have is here. We've heard that. Yeah. What about uh, rock and roll? Is there a big influence here like that? Rock and roll? Great. Yeah, influx from other places. I mean, there's, I guess, Dave Cameron. Uh, what the hell does Dave play? Uh, I think he's a drummer. Who else? Um, uh, oh, the vet! Uh, Dave Gary. Uh, what the hell does Dave play? Keyboards, I think. Uh, Chuck Davies. But he's, he works in the, the music store in town. And uh, he comes in. I don't know when he comes in, but he, come, he, come, he comes in every so often. Hi, darling. How are you doing? Oh, Excuse me, just sorry. a minute. I'm sorry. No problem. No, we're doing it. Hey, I'm just going to visit. Is that exactly on your exactly. Oh, we used to have a keyboard like that, except I um, was a store on our holiday. Shh. Yeah. It's okay. We're, it's it's fine. It's great. Okay. Thank okay, you. I'll get that added to your tab. Bye, guys. Take bye care, bye. Sarah. Bye, Babs. I'm sorry about that. Sorry, is that? That wouldn't be Babs Baker, would it? Aye, and a daughter Sarah. Uh, right back. Uh, excuse me, is it something I say? Madam? Uh, Miss Baker? Miss Baker, I'm sorry. Sorry to bother you. Um, Buckle up. Uh, we're, my co-producer Kathleen and I are doing a little documentary for, uh, for film school. Uh, I'm just wondering if you have two minutes to answer some questions. Mm, sure. Okay. Well, my name is uh, Barbara Baker, and people around here call me Babs. Oh. Um, and I was born here and I grew up in the area. Okay. And have you lived here your whole life? Well, actually, when I was 18, I moved to Toronto and I went to school. I went for, to school for nursing, and, okay. uh, and I, I lived and worked there for about 10 years. Right. Um, was it hard to... you came back here afterwards? <laughs> was it hard to come back here after living in the big city? Well, my mother died 
and uh, that left my father alone and he needed some extra care and help and so I came back here to look after him. Right. And uh, is, uh, is your husband still in the picture? Or, or? Um, I actually have never been married. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> All right. uh, is there a man in your life now? Well, yes, there is. He, he's uh, someone I'm very fond of, quite close to, and we've been seeing each other for quite some time. And how did you, how did you two meet? Bob! Just a couple of minutes, okay, honey? Um, well, that's actually quite interesting. Um, I just finished taking a physio course. I said oh. I was a nurse. Yeah. And uh, he needed some physio, and that's how we met. Right, and uh, he, well, he'd obviously been injured. How, how did, what happened to him? I'm sorry, why are we talking about him? Look, um... We're just trying to get a sense of the relationships that have developed here. Is he somebody who has lived here his whole life, or is he new to the area? You, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry, but, um... I have to get Sarah home for supper. I'm, thanks, thanks. Uh, good luck with your film. Uh, thanks very much. Bye. If Dot knew Noel's secret identity, she wasn't holding anything else back. She gave us the names and directions to find all the local rock musicians in the area. Chuck Davies was the manager of the only music store in the area. He played guitar and bass. I've lived in this town all my life. Um, I'm one of the luckier ones here because I have this store. I, if it wasn't for the store, I would have left a long time ago because there's not a lot to do here, um, unless you like dairy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a simple town. Uh, I played in a few bands. Uh, I mean, I like music. I I went to high school, but after that I never, I was going to go to college, but then I had, you know, the store and I thought I would just kick it back here, and so I've been here the whole time. And, and so, uh, big market for music? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a bluegrass town, right? So we, you know, we sell a lot of, a lot of fiddles. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I mean, the overhead here is low. My mom owns a building. I mean, they've owned it, my mom, and, well, my dad passed, but uh, they've owned the building for years, um, so I don't pay any rent. And uh, I got a customer that if things get tight, he helps me out. So it's a good deal. Really? Who, who's that? Uh, just an old guy that I jam with. He uh, he likes uh, analog recording, like not the digital stuff. And uh, he gets vintage guitars from me and shit like that. Can I say shit? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Vintage vintage guitars and things like that. Um, he doesn't go out a lot, so he buys everything right through the store. So I've got the the exclusive deal of supplying all the, the vintage. Actually, you know what? Check this out. I had to change my picks. <laughs> Check it out. Can you see that? Yeah. It never used to say vintage, but <laughs> I just ordered a whole bunch of new ones, you know. I do charts for him, uh, you know, me writing up the chord progressions. He pays me for that too, actually, which is kind of cool. Never got paid for doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's Noel. Where'd you take this? Manager of the local agricultural bank, John Hanton, was also a well-known drummer. I've lived here almost 55 years, and I'm the manager of the local uh, agricultural bank. Um, yeah. um, so, so you've lived here your whole life, is that true? I have. Guilty as charged. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about some of the um, changes you've witnessed here over, over the course of your lifetime? Well. We don't get a lot of turnover of property or people around here. I mean, this is the boonies, right? There's no real estate market here. There's more population outflow than there is influx around here. Right, um, right. The younger, younger generations are yeah. moving out. We've yeah. A few people that have moved to the town, are they mostly people from around the surrounding towns, the cities, any foreigners? Not too many foreigners. Uh, we mostly get people who have uh, been living in the big towns south of here and casting out on their houses and going for the, uh, the simple life. You wouldn't happen to know a guy named uh, Noel or his buddy Stanley, would you? You know what, people? I've got another appointment. I've got to go. Thank you very much. Oh. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. You're being paranoid. The guy's just doing his job and keeping a confidence. I'm not being paranoid, Kathleen. The guy talks at length about 
a dozen other people he barely knows, right? And then it gets to somebody he plays in a band with, and he shuts up. Why is that so hard to believe? Oh, uh, come on, he, sp he spends more time with this guy than he does with his so neighbor. So you're saying that he and the whole town of people are concealing John Lennon? Uh, no, I'm not saying, I'm saying one guy. Maybe two, maybe Chuck as well, right? But, I mean, Chuck is subsidized, right? Doc doesn't know. This isn't Farmer. He's no, not anyone Kathleen. that's worth pursuing. He's, he Come sounds on. like it. He plays in a band. <laughs> he plays in a band. He's, he's got a temper. He, this, you know, it'll be fun. I, you you got to give me that here. I just, I, I just hate to see you get excited about something and then watch There's a story apart. here regardless, right? A story. I mean, hell, we can make the documentary about small towns. This is a story that we don't have towns. the time, the money, or the energy to pursue. We have the van for a week. Right? And I'm going to give back. I'm just saying, we're chasing after something that's not going to come to anything. Kathleen, and I don't you, don't that. You. you don't know well, that. You don't know that. There's so many clues here. So we're looking for the first house after the really big barn. Mm -hmm. That's a really big barn. Yes, it is. <laughs> One of the only keyboardists in the area was the town vet, Dave Gary. Well, I've lived in the area about 18 years. A lot of farms around here, so they take care of horses and cows and chickens and goats. Tell me a little bit about this town. Everybody knows everybody around here, you know. It's, yeah. It hasn't changed much. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you do for fun around here? Yeah. Me personally? Well, yeah, what's there to do in uh, town? I don't know, there's a movie theater in the next town down the highway. So we we'll do that once in a while. People have different things they do, you know. Uh, some people like riding around on their little four-wheelers and snowmobiles in the winter. Uh, there's a few of us who get together and uh, jam once in a while. Tell us a little bit about that. Do you play an instrument? Well, uh, I play uh, piano and keyboards and we play over uh, this fellow Noel's place. We usually get together there every week, weekend or every second weekend. You know when people can make it. And, and how did you how did you meet up with these guys? I uh, don't really know. I guess I must have met Noel because he's raising chickens, so he probably probably was having a problem with his hands or something. <laughs> I don't even remember. It was so long ago. So you guys are you guys. Are you gig? Are you, are you professionals? Or? No, we just do it for fun. Uh, and I help Noel uh, work on arrangements for his songs sometimes. He writes? <clears throat> he writes some, some cool stuff, yeah. But you, you don't gig? No, Noel's, Noel's kind of shy. And uh, you know, he's got some kind of problem with his arm. He can't... He can't uh, I think you got one of your patients coming up today. <laughs> hey there. You want to ask her a few questions? Hey, so he's his left arm is is messed up, and he writes songs. I heard this. Okay, and he's right-handed. <laughs> God. <laughs> Paul McCartney was left-handed, so it's not Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have that established. Yeah. The two-day deal was almost over, and Kathleen wanted to go home. I had no choice but to go and meet the man for myself. Here we go. Want to check audio? No, no, you know what? We're just gonna do it and we'll fix it later. Okay. All right? Uh, we're starting then, wide? Yeah, we start wide and then as soon as we get uh, as soon as I get to the door, we can zoom in. Here we go. Hey. Look.
Hi there. Yeah. Hi, uh, my name's Tim, and uh, over there is my co-producer Kathleen, and uh, we're shooting a little documentary for film school Are about the changing... You've been asking around here about us. We've been asking questions about everybody because we're trying to, you know, find out about how well, the old we're girls... We're not interested, all right, we're not interested. Well, is there anybody else who'd, who'd like to... No, there uh, is not. Piss off, will you? Piss off. Get out of this property. so subtle, you know? Like, we should have talked to them first! So. God damn it! How, how did we think it wasn't gonna come back to them? What did? What are we gonna do now? So they knew we were onto them. Stanley practically said as much. They'd never let us get close to them now. Not intentionally, anyway. Are you sure we should be doing this? Yeah, don't worry about it. What if they see us? They can't see us. And there he is. Can I mention it? Cheap? <laughs> Tell me again. It's, it's cheap. It's cheap? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now that we'd actually found the old guy, Kathleen agreed to give me a few extra days to find out if it was really him. We got ourselves a cheap motel to work from. Absolutely not. We have to get the proof somehow, and that's the way we're the gonna do proof? it. Proof? You're talking. You're talking about breaking and entering. You're filming on private property. This is so highly illegal. I know. I, I, I don't even want to begin talking about it. I don't care. We're gonna do it. You beyond that? Do you do you not think that it's maybe a little bit uh, a little wrong to be invading someone's space like that? You know what? I bet you deep down he's begging for it to happen. Oh my God! You cannot make a call like that. This is not this this bullshit about about being a filmmaker responsible for telling the truth. That's 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 just a exactly load of shit. what it is. Don't talk bullshit. You think you can make these calls that you cannot make? It, it's and 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 beyond that, beyond that, you wouldn't be able to use a frame of that footage. I'm not going to use it that particular footage. I'm, I'm going to prove to you that it is John Lennon. Oh my God! Oh my God! It is not John Lennon. You don't know that. You don't know that. Think about it for a sec. Think about what having this man back in the public eye would do. He had incredible pull, all right? He could change the course of history. I'm just thinking, I mean, whoever this guy is, he doesn't want whoever to Whoever this guy is, he doesn't want to be found. He needs to be found. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. 
only got a, a range of about a thousand yards, so don't back too far away. Okay. Okay. Testing. All right, now say, uh, oh my god, they're coming back. Oh my god, they're coming back. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I realize this makes me accomplice before the Well, it does not. You're not doing anything. If the shit hits the van, get out of here, okay? I love you. Be careful. Breaking in, or have you tried the door? I can't pick the locks. Why don't you just try the handle? Hey, I'm in. Door was open, wasn't it? No, I just jimmy the windows. Yeah. Tim, do you read me? I'm clear. Oh my god, they're coming back right now. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay, not fine. You made me drop the camera. <laughs> Very cute, though. I'm going over to the barn to set up the recorder. Okay. German, you're a genius. Hi, you all right, love? Uh, yeah, I was just napping. What channel are you listening to? Uh, it's uh, 97.5, I think. See, you and I ought to be listening to that, some of that crap you're ah, always playing. Quiet. Rubbish. See, all right then, love? Yeah. Right, Claire, come on, let's go. Tim. Timmy, there? Come in, I'm here. They're on the way back right now. Can you see them? Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm up at the barn. Hi. You all right, Lord? Uh, yeah, I was just napping. What channel are you listening to? Uh, it's, uh... This is... I leave you on the side of the road, and, and John Lennon pulls up beside you and starts talking to you. <laughs> He's a hell of a lookalike, I'll give you that. Here's something you want to tell me? What are you talking about? You want to explain to me why when I, I go in there to pay for $45 worth of gas, my credit card gets declined? Temporary. Temporary. It's temporary until Tony gets a small business loan. Wait. 
You said Tony had a small business loan. It's in the works. They just the paperwork's just going through now. Wait, there's paperwork to go through? It happens all the time. I mean, they give they give money to business small businesses all the time. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, they do based on based on collateral, based on proven credit history. The guy has taken all. He's getting the money. At a five thousand dollar line of credit. We're gonna get money back when we bring back the equipment. They told me the equipment was free. It is free. All we have to do is do some field testing with it, running through some tests, and do a little bit of a report. We're gonna drop you off in the middle of nowhere. Just stop. Just Kathleen, what are you doing? We never had a fight like that before. That's not to say she'd never been mad at me, but never like this. This was different. Kathleen! Come on! It was like she'd vanished. I drove up and down that road until it was dark. When I finally got back to the motel, I half expected to see her sitting on the bed. She wasn't. I was out of my mind with worry. Six, seven, three, one. You know what? She's back. I uh, forget about this. Okay. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ. Are you okay? Fine. What was the fucking police? You scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. I, I um, I, I, I called Dave. I called Eddie. I'm gonna get a couple thousand by the end of the week. I know. I got your messages. I didn't mean to worry you so much, though. Uh, Where were you? I needed to go for a walk, and so I did. An eight-hour walk? You went walking for eight hours without calling me and returning my messages? I didn't get very far before Stanley and Noel drove by, and they picked me up, and... I went to their place. You're I... not. You're not serious. You've been. You've been at Lennon's house all day. Um, Noel's, but um, <laughs> I brought you the first <laughs> tape, so. <laughs> so we'll have some of that tomorrow, right? I'll be looking forward. Beans on toast. Wouldn't that be great? Then? Chips as well. Lovely. It's been a long time since we had that. It used to be so funny and so not, you know what I mean? Yeah, the I yeah, was you really age? Yeah, for you when you break yeah, 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 yeah. out. Yeah, uh, yeah. He asked me to go back um, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, he, uh, he saw that Spacey's got in the back, he's got horses, and he said he'd take me for a walk, so, so I'm gonna go. Then I can miss them for a bit. Having you around, you know. Out in the old line, how can I miss you if you don't go? Well, that's it, mate. You're not getting any more friggin' bacon sandwiches from me on a Saturday morning. You can make it on. So we'll see about that, eh? That's it. All right, come on. I'm sorry, Charlie. I'm sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Well, we can get it all the heck in. But just, you know, just, uh, 
No, Tim, I'm, I'm not wearing a hat, Kim. That's not... You're gonna invite me over to, to spend time there. I'm, I'm not gonna show up with a hat, Kim. I'm behind you on this, but I still don't know how I feel about this hidden camera shit. I mean... Kathleen, look at this. We've got him. With John Lennon. With Noel, and he's a nice guy, he's a private guy. I just. I don't know, just think about it. Is. Just think about it, is all. I. It's different when you know him, you know? It's different when you're talking to someone and, and knowing the whole while that you're watching him just feels wrong in some way, but... Kathleen changed the tapes every couple of days. I watched hours and hours of footage. I couldn't believe what we were getting. Hey. Hey. Can you put some blinds up or something? Sure. This place is messy. Hey, do you remember John, the bank manager guy? Uh, yeah. Pick this up. These kids are gonna put him in the old folks home. Oh, oh, oh. And I think that property's gonna come up on the market right away. What? Mm -hmm. We should make an offer. They all put right. in an offer. Darn right. I mean, your nearest neighbor is what, five miles that way? But on this side, there's Pierre, cheap by job with you. You don't want that property to fall around hands. What are they talking about? The neighbor. And if they don't want to sell, well, they just go in the way of a great big bag of money in a bag. Yes, we have. We wanted me while you're at it. Uh, <laughs> I told you the other night something. He was so evasive. No. When was the last time I took a shower, huh? <laughs> Here. Well, listen, there's the opportunity to do what we've always wanted to do. Yeah. Buy him out. Ah, Buy him out. That's crazy. We've got the money. Jesus, see, we've been wanting to do this for years. Well, we can't have anything within five miles. Let's buy him out now. That's what I say. Okay, I'm going to just get ready and uh, head over there. Kathleen. Just wear this, okay? I know you're not asking where the hat from. I just don't, I don't want any chance of him seeing me. You'll never see it. It's, it's alive. Stick it in your back pocket. Is there somewhere around this? I, I don't feel comfortable recording this guy when he's talking. I have to have it. So what are you going to do? You're shooting on the TV? Yeah. Well, I just... You will not even know I'm there. Uh, what do you listen to? I don't listen to nothing. <laughs> you need to listen to nothing. I don't listen to anything. Nothing. How, aren't you interested to hear what people are creating right now? What no, working? no. Look, did Picasso in his time, go into the galleries to see what everyone else was painting. This invite would be the first of many. Almost every day, they would meet at his place and go for long walks around the property. They would laugh and joke and talk and talk and talk. They would talk about everything, from world politics 
astrology, numerology, the environment and social issues. It was as if he was starving for someone to listen to him, and she became his captive audience. She has so concentrated the attention. I don't well, know, it's it's pretty heavy stuff. It's old, a very old. You know, it goes back to the time of the ancients. Yeah, that's yeah. what I gather. She was affected by him, I could tell. She was reading books about things that she'd never read about before, books that he gave her. She hardly even mentioned about wanting to go home. Neither did I. Miss Stanley. Hey, here it is. Look, look. You know you that bloody it. thing you were reading last night about whales? That book about whales? Right. Look, it's under the bloody book. God's sake. I've been looking for that book a few bloody days. You can't oh, pay that. It's only got the grand from that. The man guitar in the other room. Oh, yeah. How's it looking? It's good. I just I wish we had one more camera to cover that the yeah. back area there because they're, they're always leaving for me. Can we go over there and tell them to stay put? <laughs> sure. <sighs> but the problem is the tuna won't come out this far. No, I'm not going to. There. Maybe you should undo it to me. Play around with it. Well, that, you know. Okay, it's not okay just so that, yeah, so the A7, right? Is we got to diminish. Right, great. And the only problem I'm having is a little bit of in interference, but. They're, dude, they're, they're playing music. We're all gonna be filthy rich after this, alright? I have to get these coffees at Fred if my desk and they didn't have lids or didn't bounce in the word pathetic drug or something. Check this out. You're not gonna believe it. Sir. <laughs> he rode in from Texas. His dad held his comms. He's lied and he's cheated for all that he's won. Now he's in the White House making his moves. For all we have to suffer, you can thank Double U. Hey, 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 hey. You can thank Double U. With this bunch of cowboys, our kids don't stand a chance. Cause he's killing the cavalry that works on his hands. He's losing sons and daughters, and America too. But a chance to die for freedom, you can thank God for you. I mean, doesn't that not sound like... Huh. Hmm. Crazy. So I'm telling you, this isn't as bad as it thought it would be. <laughs> And I know he's a complicated man, but he doesn't need someone like you messing him up, turning his world upside down. Okay, I, I think you're misunderstanding something. There is nothing going on between all of us. Oh, which please is... don't insult my intelligence. No, it's the truth. Look, you can lie to yourself. You can lie to him. But don't lie to me. I see it in him. I can feel it in him. I can see it in you. And I'm asking you to leave him alone. He doesn't need this. Messing his world up. You'll mess it all up. Now, just the two of you. Just go home.
if more people wanted peace than they wanted to go out and buy a new television set, then I think we'd have peace. That is brilliant. I mean, not academically, maybe, but the way that he connects things, the way that he makes sense of things, it's... It's really something. He's into you. No, he's not. I'm gonna get going over there. Do you know where you're gonna be? Huh? Uh, no, I don't know. We don't really plan these things. thinking at all about what we might be doing to these people's lives. What, are you talking about Babs last night? Yeah, I'm talking about Babs last night. You know what? Nobody forced... Nobody forced him to pay any attention to you. It's... Yeah, I just... I can't stop thinking about that poor woman and her daughter. They have a life with this man. Obviously, he doesn't care that much about it, or he would, you know... It's not your fault. It's not your... It's not your thing. It's her problem. I just hate this. I'll see you later. You gotta stop that smoking. It's coming to kill you, mate. You've gotta quit. Well, I mean, you, you, you um, done these fags all the time. Well, I'm gonna go someday, right? Ah, yeah, right, Jesus. You know what? Well, the my fags are not yours, are they? The big C can get you any time, mate. Any time. Just like that. Hey, so you're gonna go, you're gonna go. Just remember what happened to George. We'll never forget that. No, I won't. Just uh, God bless us all that we don't. Jesus. I told you, talking about him. He's been it's in mind. You it's not being dead that's the problem, mate. It's the dying part. Do you know what? I've seen you. In pain many times, and you're no bloody good at it, no. You're no bloody good. Yeah, well, we'll see how we handle the dying. Ah, I'm so right. gonna handle this part right here. Yeah. Yeah. Get that cigarette away from me. I hate that smoke. Ah, that's all. That Lennon played live? Um, Madison Square Gardens, 1974. With, uh, with John, I got the tape. Uh, no, I actually, um. If Noel is Lennon, I'm not saying he is, but, um. He's playing Sarah's birthday party with his band tonight. No way. And as a gift to her, he asked me to film it. Oh my god. Do you remember when she was about to think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Seven years almost. Where does the time fly for you? Um, what do you see for you? You have a clock? That's how you throw it out the window. Well, I'm the time flies, but it's big enough. You'll be on the stage for the first one out of town. Jesus. That scared the shit out of me. I guess you weren't invited. I was, uh,. Specifically uninvited, actually. Wish I'd been uninvited. Miss Baker, I, I gotta tell you, you got nothing to worry about. Maybe you think there's nothing going on? No. <laughs> well, then you're blind as well as a fool. They may not be sleeping around, but... There's definitely something going on. You can't see it. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Fuck. Hey, come back. Come back. 
Fuck you. This is a private party. Back off, man. Back I off. I told you many times it's a private party. Back I'm... off, man. I'm telling you right now, get off this property. We don't like trespassers, okay? Now fuck off before I knock seven kinds of shite out of you. All Come right. Come on, now fuck off. All right, all right. It's in a way like King Creole that rock and roll says it all. It's in a way like you hear me They're only words that you feel The blazing lights attract you The rolling crowds distract you Quietly as they take you in You'll never get a thing done like a hammer sounds like a drum when you hear your heart falling you can't stop for anyone I'll hear what's in your eyes if you have to leave can't take no more goodbyes Wrap your arms around me I am who I was once I am as you see You make it make sense now I'm here when you're with me Yeah, let's talk about all my life That night the apple 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the band. And I hope you come see us in prison. I think we're done. What do you mean done? I think we've got it. I mean, this is the money shot. I mean, I think that if I went to CNN tomorrow, without even putting a rough cut together, that they would... Oh, my God. Proof. Not definitive proof, but I mean, fuck, we got pretty compelling evidence. I mean, he looks like him, he talks like him, his, his arm is, he's in a band. Okay, so, sounds like uh, so say that it, say that it's him. I'm, I'm not saying. You, Sorry, I don't know if I, no, but I, I'm just. Can I just hear that right? I'm, I'm just saying, wouldn't exposing him put him in a lot of danger? I mean, no, 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 no. But I mean, isn't that what you said? Wasn't wasn't that exactly what you said when we went into this? Yeah, I, he has to stand ground because to say, he's the only one that knows what actually happened. What I meant it? to say was that it it. Uh, I mean, that's what he would think because he's a famous paranoid. That's why he's underground all this time. I mean, the landscape has changed, like you said. I don't know. I. I don't know. I I. I mean, what if it's not him? I mean, what if it's not him? What? You can't. You can't just go and, and and destroy an innocent old man's if it's life. Not, if it's not him, then it's uh, it's an incredible story of mistaken identity. And this, I mean... It's not our place to, to throw his life into chaos because we have a hunch that he might be someone he's not. But what do you want me to do? I mean, I, I've told you before, the old, I mean, there's one in ten million that, that look like him, talk like him, that sing like him. I mean, but you show me a man that has got three bullet holes in his upper left and one bullet on his upper, on his bottom right. I mean, we have the man himself. Okay, so... For so, two weeks, we watched him without him taking his shirt off. We just... So, get that, at least. I mean, I mean, you gotta find some, some kind of proof. I won't let you do it if you don't. So what do you want me to do? What if I could find out? Oh. What if I, I mean, I mean, I'm over there, um, late, you know, and, and, what if I fall asleep there? Okay. Uh, spend the night? There's a pretty good chance I, I could happen to, to catch him, you know, without, without his shirt on. Maybe I could, I could pretend to walk in, in on him in the shower or in his room or something. Okay. Would you, you do that? Well, I'm not going to let you go ahead with this if you don't know for sure. So... <laughs> okay. Uh, Sam again, daughter, please, huh? Why are you doing here, Mason? I told you you'd left. Why are you still hanging around this place? I didn't find the truth. About what? I think you know. I don't know what you're talking about. I know that Noah's John Lennon. And after tonight, I'm going to know for sure. <laughs> are you serious? Listen, mate, John Lennon's dead, don't you know that? Are you the only one on this planet that doesn't know it? I think he survived. Survived what? To run a farm in Canada? You know what? There's a lot of people come round here and they look at Noel and they do a double take because they think he's John Lennon, but he's not. Okay? But you're the first person I've ever known that's pimped his girlfriend over it. You can laugh all you want, but I'm going to have the proof. What proof is that? It's varied. <laughs> like what? Do you, want, do you want to know the whole truth about this, son? Can I shoot it? You can shoot whenever you want. Or whenever you're ready, all right? We're on. Look, mate, Noel Snow is Noel Snow. He's no more John Lennon than Paul McCartney. I know he looks like him, and I know he sounds like him, but he's not John Lennon. John Lennon's dead. So why the Liverpool accents? It's me that has the accent, not him. I'm the one with the accent. Look, he does it because I don't know it's his thing, like. Look at him. He's got those granny glasses and the long hair. <laughs> Do you think if John Lennon wanted to fake his death and disappear, that he'd walk around looking like John Lennon? I don't think so. And do you know what? You take away the long hair and take away the glasses and you wouldn't even see it. And the accent, the accent's fake. I'm the one with the Scouse accent, not him. And the voice, well, the voice is just the way you, you just the way you, you, you deliver it like, all right there, girl, see at the cabin on Saturday night. Look, I'm sorry, mate, I really am, because I know you'd really like to get some truth out of all this. I mean, I loved that man. I loved him. He was a fantastic musician. 
And do you know what? His works will live on forever. Do you know what I'm saying? He wrote some beautiful music, beautiful. Do you know what? The day he died, I cried. I really cried, and so did, so did Noel. He cried as well. He still does, we both do. And do you know what? That's why Noel keeps this thing going, because he wants to keep the memory alive. And God bless him for it. All right? So how, what's your relationship with Noel? He's my cousin. Some people would like to think we're a couple of Nancy boys, mate, but we're not. They think that, but we're not. You know, it's a small village we live in, right? The word spreads, but I'll tell you, I've been his cousin since I was born, obviously. But I was also married for 18 years to a lovely girl. She's dead now, God bless her. But we always lived together, the three of us. He was in a very bad accident many, many years ago, and I've always looked after him. He's a sick man. He's 65 years old now, and he's ill. But I'll always look after him till the day he dies. All right? So where did you get all your money? What money, mate? We're just a couple of farmers trying to run this farm. How did a couple of farmers manage to buy up all the property in a five-mile radius? Where the hell did you hear that? Where did you hear that? It's true, isn't it? Turn that fucking thing off now! <coughs> Are you joking, Captain? It's not him. I'm sorry, Tim. Let's get out of here. You okay? I'm... Looking back on it now, it was so obvious. The signs were all there. I was just too obsessed to see them. Even back at the apartment, when she started taking the phone outside to talk, it never occurred to me that she was planning to leave until I found the note. I called her cell a hundred times. She never answered. Eventually, the service was discontinued. I phoned everyone she knew. If they knew where she was, they weren't saying. I knew where she was. I just couldn't bring myself to go back there. I couldn't bring myself to go anywhere. I'll hear what's in your eyes if you have to leave. Can't take no more goodbyes. Wrap hey, your Tim, you be there. As much as I didn't want to, I had to go back. I found the whole place up for sale, land and all. And the sales agent was none other than Mr. Friendly Bank Manager, John Hanton. Can't take no more goodbyes, wrap your arms around me. They obviously left in a big hurry. They didn't even take the furniture. 
you make it make sense now I'm here when you're with me I'll hear what's in your eyes if you have to leave can't take no more goodbyes wrap your arms around me my heart was broken long before you came you're all the right reasons for me to try again I even know what to say to you every week at the devil Oh my god. Hello, asshole. Asshole? Yeah, asshole. You happy now? Did you get what you deserved? Thanks a lot. What are you doing back here? I just I just want to know if you've heard anything. You I have had plenty of broken up girl girl's art. You, you know what I mean. No, I haven't had a bloody up to my Oh, go on, get out. Get out of this bloody town. You've done enough bloody damage. Go back to the city where you belong. At least you can't do any more bloody damage there. Go on, get out. Morning. Morning. Did you sleep all right? Mm, yeah, really well. Good, well, come on. I made the coffee. So, was it really him? Maybe. I don't know. And I don't even care anymore. There was only one thing that ever really mattered to me. And I lost her. Yeah. 